Hello gardeners, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about growing mallows. Mallow, also known as common mallow or malva, is a great plant for your garden. They are related to hollyhock plants. We grow them as annuals during our winter spring season here. They are very easy to grow and need almost no care and maintenance. These plants are known for their purple colored flowers with dark purple veins. The flowers are small but they bloom a lot and continuously throughout the season. And these flowers are great for attracting bees and butterflies in your garden. In some parts of the world they are also used as edibles too. These plants also have big leaves almost like hollyhock leaves and they grow around 4 feet tall and they are extremely easy to grow from seed. In my garden they self seed and come up every year naturally. I don't even have to sow seeds to grow them. You can grow them in a container very easily too. Choose a good size container at least 8 inch to grow them well. I have grown one in an 8 inch pot and another in a small plastic container and they are both doing well. You can get seeds or small plants from nursery and plant them. You can grow them in full sun or partial shade. They do well in a little shade. They don't like very hot weather, so give them afternoon shade when the weather gets hot. Otherwise during cold, you can give them 6 hours of sun to get lots of flowers. They will tolerate any kind of soil, but a well drained moist soil will be best for them. Add good quality compost in your soil for nutrition. Mix around 30% compost with your soil and you can add some river sand to improve the soil drainage. And to encourage more flowers, add around 1 or 2 tablespoons of bone meal. You can fertilize them weekly with liquid mustard cake fertilizer for growth. That will be enough. They are like wild plants, so you don't need to do too much for them. They will grow well with minimum care. Mallow should be watered properly and regularly. They don't like a very dry soil. So keep the soil moist and never let it get too dry. Also remember not to overwater. Maintain the moisture. These plants may attract pests like aphids, mealybugs and caterpillars. So spray any organic pesticides time to time to keep them safe. The insects tend to hide beneath the leaves. So check under the leaves regularly as precaution. Now if possible, you should prune the dead flowers as much as you can to keep the plant clean and encourage more flowering. This is how the seeds look like after the flowers are dead. If you want to save them, let them get dry. Collect them and store them in a dry place for next year. You can grow them very easily from seeds. So that is all you need to do to grow them well. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any queries, post it down in the comment section. I will see you next time. Bye.